folks, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I'm Cheryl, this is Table Full of Joy, and we are still on our camping trip up in the Northern Oregon coast. We are staying in Nehalem Bay, but we are taking you guys on a little adventure today. We are heading to Seaside and Cannon Beach, which are two coastal communities that are big beach communities. A lot of people stay there, a lot of rental houses, um, you know, BBROs, that kind of stuff. There's a lot of that up there. The ocean up here is stunning. The water is incredible. And so we are headed down 101 North right now. We are about 13 miles outside of Cannon Beach. And then we're about 15 or 20 miles outside of Seaside. So we are going to bring you guys along with us as we head north up the coast and go see what we can find. So we'll flip you guys around so you can enjoy a little bit of Highway 101 North. There's a bunch of fun little shops down here, little tourist shops, that kind of stuff. We're headed um, down towards the beach. And we have not been here in a really long time. We were just talking about that. It's been, it's been a number of years <coughs> since we came down here and spent any time. So it's kind of fun to come down here and check it all out and see what is new, what's changed, this little area down on this street right here um, is the waterfront district and this reminds me a lot of Newport, Oregon and what is a famous little community called Nye Beach. This is very similar to that where it's just full of little shops and there's great little places to stay. Lots of um, vacation rentals down here. It's just a fun little place to come down and explore and check out some of the shops and so I think we're gonna find a spot down here to park and we're just going to come and walk through and see what we can find down here. My um, friend that we're camping with, she's one of my best friends since ninth grade. Her birthday is today so maybe I can find her a little something special to bring back to the campground. They decided to stick, stick back at the campground and not truck this way with us so we are on our own this afternoon for a couple of hours and just checking out an area we haven't been in for a long time. And we thought we would bring you guys along with us to see all the fun down here. So we're going to go up here and park um, up here. This area right up here straight ahead is right on the water. You'll be able to see the beach from up here. You can hear my dogs. There's other dogs walking around down here. And so my dogs are barking. This hope right to the left, you can see these, uh, this building right here, the balconies. That is a beautiful little hotel that is right here on the water. You're right, right in the middle of uh, Seaside down here. But we're going to go find some place to park and then I guess we're going to just walk around for a little bit and see what's down here. There's the ocean, friends. You can see. Looks like the tide is out right now. But we're going to go down here and find a spot to park. 
All right, friends, we are in downtown Seaside. It is beautiful here. It's kind of windy, but that's to be expected. We're right on the water. I'll flip you guys around to let you see the beautiful ocean. So this is one of the hotels right here that you can stay at if you want to stay on the beach. There's several condos that are down that way that are private. And then this is the ocean. Looks like we got some Coast Guard out there, lifeguards for people that are on the water. Looks like they're actually doing some Coast Guard training out there, or lifeguard training, excuse me. But it's absolutely beautiful here. It is so, so pretty. If you ever get to the Pacific Northwest and you get to the Oregon coast, you definitely should come and check out Seaside, Oregon. This is another one of the hotels that is right on the beach. So you have beautiful ocean views from up there. Beach access from here. There's a little kids play area right down there. You can bring your kids with you. This is the sign for Seaside. This is the end of the Lewis and Clark Trail. Lewis and Clark went through the Pacific Northwest. There's several markers around our area on the northern coast that show those markers. So we're gonna head down and go check out some shops. All right, friends, we just found a fun little shop. It is called Portland Fudge Company. We came in and grabbed some taffy. We got some sweet chocolates. They have some amazing things. I'll flip you guys around and let you see what they've got. So look at all of this yumminess. We grabbed a whole bunch of stuff. When we get back to the campground, we'll pull everything out and let you guys see what we picked up. But this is a sweet little find. If you guys are ever in Seaside, Oregon on the beach, come and check out all of their delicious stuff. What was your name? Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Hello. This is, say hey to everybody on YouTube. Hey, YouTube. <laughs> we'll make sure to tag you guys. Right and on. You guys come down, come check out. Awesome. Thank you. So there's just some really fun little cute shops down here. All kinds of fun little places to go eat. Eat some local seafood, which is what the Oregon coast is known for. We did see a... Uh, smoked salmon place. I think we're gonna swing in there on our way out and maybe try to grab some crab or something to take back and share with everybody. I'm excited to go back to the campground and try some of the fudge that we got from that little place the Portland Fudge Factory. I will find their website and I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys for the Portland Fudge Company. This would be a fun little place to go and eat. Finn's Fireside Patio. Those look like awesome fire pits around those tables. That would be so cozy sitting out here Hey right, friends, that was a fun little tour of Seaside, Oregon. We, it was a little bit windy down there, but we made our, our uh, run right through the middle of their, um, I guess you call it their tourist section. We are going to head back towards the campground. We are staying at, remind you, we're staying at the Halen Bay State Park. We're going to stop at Cannon Beach because we're going to go right through there as we head back to the campground. And we'll just take a quick little walk through Cannon Beach, check it out, see what's going on down there before we head back to the campground. There's a couple spots that we saw on the way up here 
little turnouts that we hadn't seen for a while, so we're going to stop there so you guys can have another view of the ocean before we get back to our campground. So we'll see you guys in Canada. There's lots of vacation rentals down here on the water with ocean views. Lots of camping down here. Lots of fun little things to check out and see. We're going to cruise through first before we decide if we're going to stop and um, walk through. But we are just going to kind of just drive through it first and we'll let you guys see what is down here. coast is known for these huge, huge rocks. This is 
Haystack Rock. If you Google Haystack Rock in Laguna Beach, you'll learn all about the history. Um, but yeah, it's just a beautiful place. Kind of windy down here today, but it's just still beautiful. back to Nehalem State Park where we're staying. We have one more night here and then we are headed home and it's back to real life. Back to work for both of us on Wednesday. But that was it for today's little adventure to uh, Cannon Beach and Seaside. And tomorrow we are headed home and we're going to go back down uh, the 101 same way that we came up and we can stop in a few places and show you guys some stuff that we did not get to see on the way up because we lost track of time we were running late we needed to get up here before it got too late um, to get our camp set up but we are gonna leave early in the morning to head home so we should be able to make some stops along the way but we want to thank you guys so much for joining us today as we made a fun little trip up the coast to go check out a couple of places that we haven't been for a really long time and go see some new things and check out a fun a little candy shop. We will give you guys a review um, tomorrow of the Portland Fudge Company that we um, grabbed some little sweets. We're gonna go into the campground here shortly and share those with our friends and see what they think. So I, as I said, I'll leave a link in the description box for you guys for the uh, Portland Fudge Company if you guys wanna go online and check them out. I'm sure that they ship and so ch check them out and ship some stuff and um friends we will talk to you guys in the comments we will see you guys tomorrow for our trip home to uh home base and look forward to some more cooking videos coming up this week we did not get to do very many cooking or actually any cooking videos this time um we just had our the way i wear our camp was set up our friends were right there and i just really wanted to respect their privacy and not have them in the videos and it was a little bit hard to shoot um cooking videos but we are going to do those recipes that we did this weekend. We're going to do those at home on our camp stove. And we'll bring you guys along when we do those so you guys can see um, the tasty stuff that we did this weekend. But friends, we'll, let you, we'll talk to you guys in the comments. If you guys have visited any of this up here in um, the uh, northern coast in Oregon, let me know in the comments what you guys like to do up here if you do. If you haven't, let me know if you guys liked it. And we will talk to you guys later. Have a great day, friends, and God bless. All right, friends, I know we ended this video on the way back to the campground. You can see Hubby's back here uh, having a little snooze. <laughs> we uh, <clears throat> So we brought the candy back to share with everybody um, at our campground, all of our friends that are here. And I was going to get their candy in the video and I got mauled when I got back. Everybody saw chocolate and before I knew it, they had the knife out, cutting up its pieces and everybody trying it all. I can tell you this, friends, it was amazing chocolate. Am I right, Tony? Oh, it was very good. It was amazing. So I highly, highly, highly recommend the Portland Fudge Company. If you have a chance, they are in Seaside, Oregon. Um, I looked online. I don't see that they have a website, but they do have a phone number and they may ship things if you want to give them a call um, and ask them what they have in stock right at that moment. And they may be able to work out something to get some things shipped to you. But we had, let's see if I can remember now. So we had a dark chocolate um, Rocky Road. We had a dark chocolate um, S'mores. We had a dark chocolate um, peanut butter cup that was amazing. Super, super, super good. We had a, a dark chocolate Heath. We had a almond, dark chocolate almond um, caramel cluster, which was super good. We still have two little pieces left of two small dark chocolate. Um, and we're going to save those for later. We do still have all of our saltwater taffy. Nobody touched the saltwater taffy. They were all about the chocolate. And so we'll have the saltwater taffy for maybe later tonight. Maybe somebody will want a piece after dinner for a little something sweet. 
we do have the two little pieces of chocolate um, I'm gonna save those for us maybe for our ride home tomorrow or something um, you can see how he's smiling because he knows we've got two little pieces of dark chocolate anytime we go to the Oregon coast we always love finding these little candy shops local shops I don't want to do any um, you know like big name companies I want to find the little small mom and pop um, chocolate shops and I want to give them my business so definitely next time we make it up this way to the north coast we don't get it up here very often but definitely we'll be going back to the Port Portland Fudge Company. I highly recommend them, guys. Their chocolate is incredible. And now I'm craving some more of it, but it's gone. <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait till we come back, which means another trip up here, honey. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> All right, friends, we are going to end this now. And we are going to kick back and relax for a little bit. It started to rain right after we got back here to the campground. So we're going to kick back and relax, watch a little bit of YouTube. It's raining outside right now. So we're going to stay in here, stay nice and warm and, and cozy. And then we're going to go fix dinner for everybody tonight. So we will see you guys tomorrow on the road home.